Hello everyone, this is Jordan and today we're going to talk about DAX and the opportunity which I'm going to share is for the buys. Now before we move forward, let me go a bit further and tell you the way I was looking at this thing up until this point. So basically what I was looking for is this move to provide a pullback which could be later on sold and likely for the price to go ahead and test this level. So we did test the top of this bottom, right? If this is your bottom range, the entire zone, this is the top of it. And we did test it, actually we went to the middle of it, but we never went to the bottom of it. So I was definitely considering the possibility of something like this happening and then potential bounce. Now, let me tell you why I believe this is not the case. Well. When we go ahead and drop the fuels here, you can see that the 61% or what was supposed to be a potential um, consolidation and continuation, this is scenario number one, or a further double wave going to the 100% along with this one, and then bounce to the downside. None of that happened. And this is the very moment where I can be stubborn and say, no, the market is wrong. What I'm looking is for the price to go lower and this is what's going to happen and I'm going to be selling. Or I can simply go ahead and adjust, adapt to the most recent facts. And the most recent facts are telling me that this is the strongest level on the chart at the moment. Even if I zoom in and I measure larger distance, 750 bars, not just 370 bars here, right? Because this indicator works like this. It takes all the bars visible on the chart and it gives you the strongest point, right? <clears throat> the strongest zone. It doesn't matter how we spin it. This is the level, this is the zone, the 100%, the daily pivot, everything in price action. All these three factors are coming to the same place. And look what's happening. The price is breaking through it very nicely, very powerfully. And we're holding above it. And again, you can be stubborn and say, no, this is going to be false break. This is going to be fake. You have all the rights to do that. I personally prefer to adapt and say, all right, uh, the initial expectation of this or that is not happening. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not losing money. I'm just following the most recent price action. And the most recent price action is telling me that we're likely going to continue higher. So it all comes down to this level. It's very simple. I don't care whether I'm going to be selling it or buying it. I really don't care. As long as I can be uh, doing some kind of action inside this zone, because this is an extremely strong zone. That's all. That's all I care about. Up or down doesn't really matter. So now that I have um, seen where the strongest level is on this chart, let me go ahead and show you what I do next in order to try and figure out what to do and how to do it. So I will be going to the one hour chart and maybe even, let me actually remove that for a second, uh, maybe even the 30 minute chart, but look what's happening. So if we assume that this is the first wave, second wave, and we're currently inside the third wave, I will go further on and split not split, but analyze this third wave. So we have first, second, third wave. Okay. Which I believe is still ongoing. So third wave should be uh, pushing with one more attempt to the upside to complete the larger structure, the pink line, then four and five. All right. So we're currently building wave number three, and I believe we still have room to push upwards. And this is going to be an intraday short-term opportunity. Again, just in my opinion, this is not a financial advice. This is simply how I look at the market. It's nothing more than an opinion. Now, uh, we know what we said about this zone right here, and we can see how the market is holding this weekly level. What I also like to do is check out where the 50s and the 100s are. 
What I mean by that is you go ahead and you put here 750. And then what you do is you look for 700, the round number, because they're also usually super important. And again, and again, and again, we can see where most of it goes. So this is again the optimal place. I'm not saying that we're going to dip down to this zone. I really hope so because that's the best place to buy. Uh, but I think you start to get the point. So we have a breakout, we have an extension. What we're looking for is for the price to come down to this level optimally, even though we spike to this very close, right? Uh, and then we're looking for continuation up short term to complete this third wave longer term we're likely well at least i'm expecting for this to happen but as we can see the market can be proving that wrong so expectation is one thing working with facts is a completely different thing so i'm creating a plan trying to forecast one or two steps ahead two steps is probably too far but one step you need to place yourself in a situation where you're absolutely well, you cannot be 100% sure, but the reliability of the setup is very high. And in my opinion, this kind of setup is super good. So I'm trying to predict this, right? And from there on, we can analyze further based on the price action, whether the next steps on the bigger cycle are going to be there or not. And we're going to adapt to it. That's it. It's very simple. Again, don't. I don't need to prove that I'm right. I need to make money. Okay? And adapt as quickly as possible. So that's about the entry zone. That's about the analysis, why I'm looking to do that. Now let's talk about targets. Well, going back to the four-hour chart zone, zones, plural, we can see that we have another level right here and another level right here. Now, purely based on price action, besides the indicator, what I'm going to spot immediately is this level here, All right? And what else I see is we have two zones. This is daily level and monthly level. All that becomes an extremely good point that has a lot of potential to be reached slightly above where we have the top of this range and probably where this uh, rectangle is coming from is the 161 of this push so it makes sense for the price to go somewhere excuse me near these levels okay depending on your setup you can be making money already here right you can be making money here, you can be making money right there. It depends on how you're going to uh, initiate it. Are you going to trade it on the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, where your stop loss is going to be, right? And then your risk reward ratio. If it's 10 points, 15 points, 20 points, 100 points, it will depend. So uh, keep that in mind. This one, that one, and generally that zone is what I would expect for the market to reach. All right, so we have covered uh, the entry zone, the general analysis, the Elliott wave count, the levels, targets. I think that pretty much summarizes it. If you have any further questions besides this, feel free to uh, ask, right? And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Have a good week, guys. Bye for now.